Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about the headphones that I use on a daily basis, the Bose QuietComfort 15s. They were released in 2009, almost nine years ago, but I'd like to explain why I've refused to upgrade to anything more recent. To put into perspective how long ago 2009 was, the most recent iPhone looked like this. The Black Eyed Peas had just released I Got A Feeling, and this was me. At the time of these headphones release, active noise cancelling was not a very common feature found in headphones, with Bose being some of the pioneers in this technology. The first time I tried them on was in a store, and I was amazed by the way the headphones reduced the racket of a busy shopping centre to an absolute murmur. If you've never tried on a pair of noise cancelling headphones before, then it's hard to describe, but I've tried to make a short simulation of this. The headphones reduce volume by about 20 decibels, so here's a busy street at regular volume, and here it is lowered by 20 decibels. This noise cancelling is obviously the headphones biggest feature. There's a lot of other stuff to love about them too. The actual sound quality itself sounds really good to my untrained ear. And this is another area where the headphones don't show their age. The sound is warm and rich. And personally, I can't hear a huge jump in quality in Bose's more recent headphones or headphones from any other company for that matter. If you're an audiophile, then I'm sure you'll be able to tell the difference easily. But I listen to these headphones almost every day and I've never had any complaints of the sound quality. The headphones design has aged pretty well also. They might be slightly bulkier than headphones released today, but the design in no way looks dated. And personally, I prefer the chrome-plated accents of these to Bose's more recent designs, which typically feature all black or all white colour schemes. The headphones also show surprisingly few signs of wear and tear. I've taken pretty good care of them, but in the five years I've owned them, the biggest marks on them are a couple of tiny scratches and rather worn down material on the headband. This in no way affects the comfort of them, however, and they live up to their name as being some of the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. One excellent design feature of the headphones is their modularity. I've replaced the ear cups themselves twice, as every two years or so the seam breaks and the foam from the headphones begins to spill out. They're still usable in this state, but a lot of external noise leaks in, so I happily paid £20 for a replacement kit of ear cups. I recently replaced them about a month ago, and this is what they looked like inside. Another modular part of the design is the lead itself. It can easily be pulled apart from the headphones and replaced if damaged, an issue that's happened to me once several years ago. However, it's not all perfect, and the product definitely shows its age in some areas. The battery life is good, I typically only change the battery every 3-4 to four weeks or so. However, using a AAA battery feels very dated. I appreciate the convenience of being able to swap out a battery on the go, but I dread to think how many of these I must have got through in a product's lifetime. Now it's 2018, and Bose have released several successors to the QC15s. However, I've never even been tempted to upgrade to the newer models. Yes, Bluetooth would be nice, as would an updated design, and the ability to turn noise cancelling off. But none of these features justify spending £330 on a new pair of headphones to replace a perfectly good pair. Besides, this is way out of my budget, especially after YouTube's decision to demonetize my entire channel. These headphones were discontinued many years ago, but you can still pick them up for a decent price on eBay or Amazon. If you don't mind using a wired connector and batteries to power your headphones, then these are definitely a great way to save money. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you like what I do, then consider checking out my Instagram page, T Sutton Design. I've recently set it up and it features a lot of technology as well as showcasing some of my own design work and even photography in some places. Feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.